Welcome to Busy Bee Living. Today we are in the shop, but we are actually not going to be working on a project. Actually, we are going to be replacing my old work boots. I've had these Danners for quite a while. I really like them, but unfortunately the soles have kind of worn out. And when I looked at sending these back to get them re sold what the cost would have been to do that, I decided to go ahead and change up my boots. And that's what brought us to Thoroughgood. Um, the reason I switched it, uh, I felt these soles. What were they like anyway? They look pretty good, are they real? Are they built for speed or for comfort? Of these, and they seem a little bit more firm, and I think they'll last a little bit longer for me than my Danners did. So we'll see, you know, in another 10 years, like my Danners went through, what uh, we end up with. But we need to prep these and get these ready and nice and protected as I live up here in the north in Michigan. So we have some rougher weather. So what I like to do is I like to waterproof my leather boots, help protect them a little bit more and get some more life out of them. That being said, what I use is snow seal. This preserves and protects the leather and will uh, help it from water seeping in um, if I'm walking from the shop to the truck or anything like that through the snow, it'll help protect that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you how to get the best results from your snow seal in the application process. Now, the first thing we got to do is we got to remove our nice laces, put those aside so we can lose them. Now, if these were being reapplied, what we'd want to do is make sure they're nice and clean and dry. But another thing to get this to work better on the leather itself is to heat up the leather. This will allow the, max, the wax in the seal to penetrate into the leather and really give it a good seal all around so we don't end up with any issues in the near future. I'm going to be using my Wagner heat gun. Now, a lot of you are probably like, wow, that is really kind of overkill. And it is. <laughs> but on the lowest temperature that this goes, it goes down to 120 degrees. And that is actually the temperature that we want to heat these boots up to. If you don't have a heat gun, you can use a hair dryer. I've even seen some people get a low, low temp on their oven. <laughs> This doesn't smell like mom's. <laughs> and put them in there. I've never done that. Just kind of weird about putting boots in where I cook my food. But it is an option. I would just rather use either a hair dryer or like I said, the heat gun. So what we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get this plugged in. We're gonna get this heated up to the temperature. And then we're gonna heat the leather up so we can apply our snow seal. So it is a low heat. You just want to slightly warm that leather so it'll help apply that snow seal. Now, if it's too hot to touch, that's way too hot. Should not give you any issue handling the boot while you heat it up. Another thing to keep in mind is some people will try to apply this and then apply the heat and it is not as good of a process. I've never done it. Um, I've always been told to heat the leather itself and then apply this and you will actually get a better outcome. Now with the boot heated up and it's like I said, warm to touch, shouldn't be too hot. We're going to go ahead and we're going to apply our first coat of the snow seal. So just grab yourself one of your gloves. And we're just going to apply this on here. Now it does have a beeswax type of material on there. It is beeswax in this. And it will end up darkening the leather. We want to get it in all of the grooves. 
screws. It's okay to get in on the stitching. Really work it in there. Now we're probably gonna end up doing probably just one more coat on this, but you can already see the difference in those two boots. How much that really brings out that leather, darkens it a little bit, but really gives it kind of that gloss. And we st still have to come back though with a rag and buff this out. So now that we applied a couple of coats, all we do is we take a cloth rag and kind of just buffer it just to get any excess off. Okay, so there you have it. Now what we'll do is we'll let these sit for a little bit, let that coating kind of harden up, and then we can go ahead, throw our laces on, and lace them whichever way uh, you choose. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and I hope it'll take care of your work boots and make them last even longer for you. I know it's an investment that we make, and good quality work boots like this are not cheap and you want to make sure that this leather is going to be protected and it's going to last for you a long time especially when you take the time to buy something that is made here in the u.s whether the thoroughgood or even the good old danners were u.s made as well so it's something you definitely want to take care of if you guys found this video helpful, we'd love to earn your subscription as it really does help us out in this channel. And if you're one of our returning viewers, thank you guys so much for the support. Channel's growing amazingly and it is really exciting. So thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate it. So until next time, thanks for buzzing by. You take care. What's that? I always wear boots in the shop. <laughs>